Now the first thing that catches your attention on this particular watch is of course the deep red rays of the dial. This design represents the heat ray beam that Godzilla chews from his mouth. Very cool. It's a little hard to see here with this light, but it's a really nice dial. The case is a 44.5 by 14.3 millimeters titanium. Very light and strong. And I really like this sharp edges that they did for the case. Very nice. Now the second thing that catches your attention obviously is the strap. Look at the details of this strap. This resembles Godzilla's skin. Very, very cool strap. Now, going to the case back, as you can see here, we have a sapphire crystal, so see-through case back. And this case back has been stamped with the scene of Godzilla's destroying the clock tower on the main intersection of Jinsa district. Bad monster. Very cool. Under the hood, we have Seiko's Spring Drive 9R15 with an astonishing 72 hours of power reserve. So this watch will go for quite a while before you have to wind it again if you're not using it that much. So this is a very great watch for watch collectors looking for something different or for Godzilla fans. So if you're interested, you might, you might as well go right now to our website at blacktackwatches.com for more information and pricing.